Hey guys and welcome to today's video on my favorite page style 21. So this is what my favorite page style number 21 looks like and as you can see it's a booklet in which you can place um, full size photos in size 4x6. Okay, so let's just start with the tutorial for today. And as always, we start by cutting our cardstock and pen and paper down to size. And the first cardstock elements we need to cut are our cardstock elements A in size 4 and 3 quarters of an inch by 6 and 1 quarter of an inch. And we actually need to cut cardstock element A three times. And when I cut my cardstock and pad and paper, I always like to label all the elements I have cut. And then we can cut a cardstock element B in the size 2 and 1 quarter of an inch by 6 and 1 quarter of an inch. And the last cardstock element we need to cut is cardstock element C in size 4 and 1 quarter of an inch by 6 and 1 quarter of an inch. After cutting all our cardstock elements, we can continue by also cutting our pattern paper. And the first pattern paper piece we need to cut is the pattern paper for cardstock element A. So we need to cut pattern paper A in size 4 by 6 inches. And then to cover our cardstock element B, we would need to cut pattern paper B in size 1 and 1 half of an inch by 6 inches. And we actually want to cut two of these because um, we not only want to um, cover the flap on the outside but also on the inside to um, cover up the magnets we will be using. And then of course we also need pattern paper to cover our basic page and um, the pattern paper for the basic page has to be in size 8 by 8 inches. And now we can continue with the next step which is scoring our cardstock elements. So first we want to score our cardstock elements A and for cardstock element A we need to score at half of an inch on the 4 and 3 quarters of an inch side. And we also want to score cardstock element B on the shorter side, so on the 2 and 1 quarter of an inch side and here again just score at half of an inch from the left. Then we need to attach tape right next to the scoring lines and I actually like to use 3 8 of an inch score tape for this. And after attaching our tape we want to cut off the corners of the little flaps we created with scoring. So for this I like to turn around my cardstock and then I get my small scissors and I just cut at an angle right next to the scoring lines. And just make sure that you don't accidentally cut into the scoring lines, but just next to them. Once you have cut off the corners, you can go ahead and um, actually fold up the little flaps we created. And for this, turn around your cardstock because you don't want to fold it up on the side where you scored it or where you placed the tape on. Um, so we want to fold it on the back side. And then I also like to get my bone folder and burnish it down. And now we can attach our pattern paper for the basic page onto our basic page. And when I attach my pattern paper onto my cardstock elements, I always prefer to use wet glue instead of tape because by using wet glue, you are still able to move around your pattern paper until you find the right position and have an even border of cardstock around it. And now to make the booklet, we would need cardstock element C as well as all three cardstock elements A. And then um, we start by attaching cardstock element A onto cardstock element C. 
And for this, I like to remove the tape backing just from one side and then I hold up the sticky side until I find um, the right position so that it's evenly aligned to the edges of cardstock element C. And then I remove the rest of the tape backing and just um, place it down. Um, and then you want to stack the other cardstock elements A on top of each other. So get the second cardstock element A and do the same steps again. So remove the tape backing from one side, then hold up the sticky side and find the right position. So align it to the edges of the other cardstock element A and then you can um, just yeah, stick it in place and repeat the same for the third cardstock element A as well. Now we also want to attach our cardstock element B, but before I attach it, I actually got my corner punch to round the corners, um, but as always, this is definitely optional, so you could leave the corners just as they are, um, but you could also, of course, use a different corner punch to decorate it a little. And then you want to attach the little flap of cardstock element B onto cardstock element C, so onto the bottom cardstock element in your booklet. So for this, I just um, fold it over the whole booklet so that there is just the um, little flap um, right next to cardstock element C, and then I just press it down while removing the tape backing and then I close it up so that cardstock element C will stick to cardstock element B. Now we can attach the magnets to our cardstock elements and I actually like to use four magnets so I place them on the left and the right side. Um, I have also placed just one in the middle before and it works fine uh, when you're using strong magnets, but um, yeah, to have it like stronger, you could use um, four as I'm doing here. So I just um, leave them attached to each other and then I remove the tape backing from one of the magnets and I place it where I want it to be. And then um, you can close up cardstock element B and it will stick to cardstock element A. And yeah, just do the same for your second pair of magnets. And now we can cover cardstock element B with our pattern papers B. And um, now you can see why we cut two of these. Um, again, because we also rounded the corners of cardstock element B, we of course need to round the corners of the pattern papers as well. So you see me um, using my corner punch again and then I get my red glue and I will just attach my pen and papers onto um, the outside and the inside of the cardstock element B. And then you can also attach pen and paper A onto cardstock element A and with this you would be able to cover up the two magnets as well. So again I use my red glue and then I just place it onto cardstock element A and move it around so that I have an even border. And now for the last step we only need to attach our booklet onto our basic page and while I like using wet glue to attach pattern paper onto cardstock elements, I would always use tape to attach any cardstock element to um, another cardstock element. So here you see me using my 3 8 of an inch tape again and I just place it around the edges and then I remove the tape backing completely and um, I actually also don't measure where I want it to be placed. Um, I want it to be in the middle, but I just eyeball it and then I hold it up from both sides and I make sure that I know where I want it to be. And once I think I found the right position, I just um, press it down onto the basic page.
so yeah that's it for today's video and i hope that you enjoyed watching it if you did so please give it a thumbs up and also i would love to get your feedback in the comments down below so if you have any question you could also leave it in the comments and then see you in my next video bye